Okay, folks, Bobo's back with you from Sydney, Ohio. So, tonight is the uh, debate between the VP candidates, uh, Waltz and uh, J.D. Vance. Now, J.D. Vance is from, off and on, from Middleton, Ohio. And I've only been to Middleton once or twice. I had an uncle that lived there, my Uncle Kenny. And what a gem Uncle Kenny was. Uh, I loved his sense of humor. I loved him as a man. And uh, I just enjoyed uh, being around Uncle Kenny. And I'm probably going to get my feet held to the fire for this one that I pulled on him. But be that as it may, still cracks me up. We went down there to visit him one time, and uh, he was so proud of Middleton. Uh, once we got settled in, he said, well, come on, Bobby. He said, let me show you around town. So piled in his car, and he and his wife and my wife and I drove around town. He showed me the highlights, showed me the Lowe's store where he worked, and uh, one thing after another, and pretty soon we found ourselves out by the airport. And uh, he made a comment that there had been some pretty nasty weather that had come through there a few days earlier, and that a couple of the uh, trailer yards were really torn up. And I kind of looked at them. They were, they were pretty bad, and they were torn up pretty bad. So as we're driving along, I said, you know, Uncle Kenny, I said, I hate to see things like that, but, uh, you know, I said, uh, it's a shame it happens to those people, but they set those trailers out there by airports for a specific purpose. And he said, well, what's that, Bobby? And I said, well, have you ever noticed uh, runways or buildings at airports being torn up on the news? And he, he thought for a minute, he says, not really. And I said, but we always see pictures of trailer parks or mobile home parks just torn to shreds. And he says, yeah, that's right. He says, yeah, he says, I've seen my share of those. I said, well, the reason they do that is because they discovered years ago that when they, when they park so many trailers in a certain pattern, it draws a tornado or high winds to it by the magnetic resonance. And he thought for himself, he said, damn, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? And I said, yeah. And I said, it's unfortunate, but... Um, they got too much invested in that airport for a tornado to hit it, so they just build these uh, mobile home parks off to the side. It's a shame, but every now and then they take a hit. Well, I never thought he would he would take that hook as hard as he did. He went right to the bottom with it, and I just couldn't bring myself to tell him any different. So I just kind of forgot about it and left it uh, let it go. Then come a couple years later, um, Uncle Kenny had moved to Florida, and we're sitting there at breakfast one day, and he said, you know, he said, after you told me that story about uh, tornadoes and high winds going after trailer parks near airports, he says, I told all my buddies at Lowe's, and they'd never heard of such a thing, but he said, it, it made sense to all those guys, too. And I'm sitting there going, no, no, no. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I drive by a trailer park next to an airport, and I still have to laugh at, at how deep Uncle Kenny took that one. Like I said, I'm going to get my feet held to the fire on that, too. Oh, well. This is Bobo Base Gear. Stop.